Parking Federation here with a little more match. It's going to be me taking on my buddy James. It's going to be a pretty interesting match overall, I think. Uh, James here is going to be piloting the uh, good old Lord Slug DB victory deck. He said if you let Slug run away with it, he sure will. And I'm going to be running my now well worn orange attempt to go on. It reminds me a lot of my pronounced weaknesses in this one. I can't deal with setups and drills for the most part. Okay, James is going to go and roll first. I'll go ahead and roll second. And I go to 6 to his 5, so I get to go first. This means that if I get a strong enough opening hand, I should be able to jump in this combat and do some drops and curtain bombs, as they say. Uh, we're watching a really borderline offensive video in the background. Okay, looking at the hand, uh, I said I got Gohan's level 1 attack plus whatever's in my hand, so I can probably press my advantage pretty well. I should probably remember to go ahead and power up uh, uh, good old Gohan here if I'm going to do it. So, uh, just waiting for myself to catch up here. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, I gotta admit, it would be wiser for me to leave my phone to the side while we play a little game, so make sure I should get through a reasonable amount of time. So it looks like I ended up with a pair of uh, hugs there. A past Juvenate Orange hug, I leave a leaping punch there, because of course that's going to come in super handy later on. Again, he goes back over to James. James gets to start out his first turn. James is looking at his first hand. I probably would, as Lord Slug, very seldom would go in on a three guard hand. Okay, he's going to go ahead and power up Slug, and he's going to go ahead and skip his turn. He has Passenger Juvenate's Sagacious Strike, which is a very wise idea. That critical damage capacity is pretty sweet. And he goes over to me, I get to drop my next three and see what I got. So we're just uh, grabbing a turn marker, which in this case will be the little 30-sided uh, dice down there. That thing is old as dirt. I bought that back in 97. Okay, looks like I actually drew too many cards there. Uh, bravo for those of you who noticed that. I do declare combat. I power up the Gohan. And James drew a lot of dead cards here, folks. If you guys can see what's already going to happen with his limited resources, James is going to take a severe beating. I turn off his powers and hurl Gohan's level 1 attack, which will be just two life cards. Okay, so with the little plus from the mastery, two life cards, one power stage. James does all his things in the right order. He takes his uh, stage damage before he takes lifeguard damage. He's going to go ahead and fire off uh, this particular energy attack. I know it's one of the rares from Awakening. I believe this one lets you search out and place into play in a uh, DB. So at this point, uh, James has to be kind of careful because you can see in his hand. Ah, uh, there it is. Uh, I was going to say, if you see from his hand, he has to watch out because anything he puts down could potentially blow up in his face. You know, any Dragon Balls he put out, if he just pulls out too powerful one, he can end up just getting him as I steal it. Okay, he's going to go with Ball 6, a wise idea. Okay, and he does not have his Lord Slug power, so he doesn't get two anger from this effect, but he still gets one because of the mastery. Okay, let's see. I believe I was packing an energy block, though I can't imagine why I would have thought it would be important enough to bother with. James is a very thorough shuffler, nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'll go ahead and take the four life cards. Where it would have been five, but I. Let's see. So I ended up taking the four life cards with the minus one reduction from Gohan's level one. Pretty sweet. 
Okay, my next move uh, is going to have to be a, a attack from my hand. Okay, I get to use the immediate effect of Orange Hug. You really want to get to banish three style cards from this card pile, which is this entire discard pile. Sorry about that, folks. We were pretty ill-prepared for this particular match. We had mostly put everything else away. We didn't even have a proper table. Okay, well, this might be a neat uh, time to... Oh, <laughs> there goes the physical attack table. I'll say a neat time to discuss a couple of things. I find with this particular build of mine, 101 matchups tend to simply be in my favor most of the time. My stage damage, like I said, can pressure anybody. But something about ally decks, as they are nowadays, simply put, this deck cannot keep up. I just die. Okay, so Hug is successful. Like I said, I get to use my instant power from uh, the Mastery there to go ahead and search out a uh, drill. I do place Disaster Drill in the play, just to see what happens. I don't level generally, so this is kind of an interesting thing. Okay, so I do not get the effects immediately of Orange Disaster Drill, because of course it had to keep coming after my attack was successful. Uh, looks like I forgot to raise my anger. Oh, no, I forgot to raise my anger. Okay, he's going to go ahead and fire it. Nice. Okay, he's going to make you right throw, which is a great idea. He does a small amount of stage damage to me, lowering my AT. And is going to go ahead and raise his anger two levels from uh, that effect. Pretty sweet. Though, unfortunately, you guys know... Uh, James rightly guessed here that I'm carrying a handful of attacks. He drew a hand of mostly dead cards. Yeah, Lord Slug is deadly, and the thing is, by pushing him further and further to you know, have just DBs left in his deck, it's usually signing your own death warrant. Eventually, he's going to go ahead and get that out. So, I, since I played another card from my hand, I get to go ahead and uh, search out another drill and place it into play. He, he really did. He can't even pitch it like I could with Namekian Restored. Oh, it's pretty bad. I'm sure it's ugly. Okay, I put out Joint Restraint Drill, so my damage is going to be through the roof. Okay, I do get my Anger from Disaster Drill. Okay, hit it with 10 power stages, he's going to take a massive amount of damage. And remember, Endurance is off. And I crit him, because I hit him with 10 life cards straight. Man, I punched a big hole in poor James. Okay, unfortunately James has to, uh, has to pass, I throw a bicycle kick. And then we, uh, I should recall pretty quick here, the bicycle kick is now banished after use. So 13 total power stages, and remember because of Orange Hug, his endurance is off. Man, oh those Dragon Balls were so clustered together, it was ugly. And with endurance he probably could have held out a lot better, but given what's going on here. Okay, uh, James here is reckoning that I should be out of, uh, out of attacks, he's going to go ahead and pull out a Dragon Ball. Potentially. Uh, there it is. I knew we caught that. That uh, Vice Creek was banished after use. Okay, Ball 6 is going to go ahead and enter play. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Bicycle Kick's effect is not necessarily optional, so we can sort of make the game state match by simply shuffling the deck and say I've just pulled out, you know, straight drill and disaster drill. Yeah. Okay. 
still gain the uh, that. Huh, that doesn't seem right, because I thought it would have initially turned. It has infinite, so there is no... Okay, we're debating some timing issues with disaster drill. Basically, whether I get the effect of it twice. And then you switch it out, you brought it out again, so then it writes another one on it, because you still are in the immediate effect. So, would you believe I ended up with three anger from that whole mess? I actually ended up getting two anger because I did use it and get the immediate effect of the disaster drill, pushed it back in, pulled it back out, got another effect of it because it was a continuous effect, not a once per combat effect. These don't matter because they're continuous effects, so they're always in a play. So it looks like I'm out of attacks at this point. I cannot continue to press the advantage. James has taken severe early game damage. Nearly uncomebackable. Okay, he, he is going to go ahead and pass and choose to rejuvenate Ball 6 at the end of combat, along with the top card of his discard pile. And it finally is his turn, so he gets to go ahead and go next. He does go ahead and destroy or dump off a Mechian Buffer. He's got some excellent cards in play. Or right, you can go ahead and Dragon Clan. He powers up good old Lord Slug. James got some excellent cards here to choose from. Okay, he's going to go ahead and pass and rejuvenate Lord Slug's Fist Slam, which is an okay card to go ahead and put back in the deck. I hope he kept hybrid defense. Yeah, we could have had a much more interesting game if I managed to not land that key hit. Okay, power up Gohan, power up back up to full. And it uh, looks like I don't like what I see enough that I don't want to press an advantage or press a. What am I going on here? Great. I'm going to go ahead and pass a. Uh, excuse me. Rejuvenate a, It's not an inspection, it's excavation? All of a sudden I can't think of it. Okay. And then it looks like he places. I can't tell what in the play. Okay. He does get uh, his uh, effect for raising his anger when a DB enters play. And I cannot see that card up there. I hate to say it, we have entirely too much glare and. Oil. Okay, that does. It banishes my. Uh, he's he's going to go with my discard pile. He's going to go and banish any cards that shouldn't be there. Okay, Hug is going to go. Uh, dig a bicycle kick or out of the game. Not too bad. Okay, he's getting three power stages. He's going to power up Slug just a little bit. Okay, James is going to go ahead and pass. He's going to rejuvenate Face Slam. Okay, I declare combat. I'm already at maximum, so there's no need to adjust anything there. I did leave my mastery sideways, which might be confusing later. Okay, I throw an orange left punch, it lowers his anger one level and gets to two uses. And I get to raise my anger again because of disaster drill. I remember to adjust my mastery after all, it's some good stuff. I'm in, uh, I want to say I'm in D. Plus five, so six, yeah, no, that. some really good stuff going on here. Okay, so I do meet the uh, necessary effects. Oh, he stopped it with uh, hybrid defense. It's a really good idea. Hybrid defense loop is one of my favorite things in the whole world. I get to use this attack again because I still only have the two drills in play. Goes back over to James. James is going to go ahead and probably play Namekian and Hunt from his hand. I should probably shouldn't do this. I should just. Oh, it was Namekian Wish. I wanted to say that that other set of piano play was American. Excuse me. I, you know what? I would like to make an alternative name set. Every card's exactly the same for Namekian, but they have the word American in place of Namekian. I was going to say American Wish. Okay, now he's got to go ahead and discard down. 
It will be his turn next time, so he, he can wait wait to bank on such a roll. He is going to go ahead and pass, discard the Dragon Balls. They will find their way to the bottom of his life deck, just like that. And it's going to go back over to James. James has drawn some good stuff. Oh no, he did it. He played ball two, raised his anger, leveled me, made me discard my drills. I should be rejuvenating one of those automatically. The whole point is, the whole point though too is, is now he lost all his drills. Oh, if I don't advance, if I get D level, my drills do not get rejuvenated. Okay, so I'm officially level two, gone Super Saiyan over here. Okay, the, the action goes back to James. sure what just happened with the, the Namekian Hunt's usage. I don't remember it being in play already. I need to rejuvenate what I can. Oh. To live first. Oh, okay. So let me, he does end his turn, actually. So let me, I forgot what we were doing for just a second there. Namekian Hunt enters play, plays ball two, passes, rejuvenates. He's talking about staying ahead of the game and being able to stay rejuvenating. A very wise idea. So now that I'm level two, a lot of my plans are up in smoke. I want to. I want to rush in there and kill you, but I can't. So uh, it looks like I don't trust enough with a pair of energy blocks. I pass, rejuvenate. It goes back over to James. James draws an excellent passive hand. He's going to get to go ahead and put Dragon Radar into play. I don't know if you guys are seeing how many different things he's ending up here with that can summon Dragon Balls and just wipe me out. James deliberates, he passes, rejuvenates, I want to say, Namekian, is that left kick, side kick? I forget all of a sudden. So we're from Awakening set. Okay, I put out a joint straight drill, just so happen to draw one. Okay, I get to go ahead and declare combat. James drew a handful of really good cards. It's an orange sideswipe, a 7 non-modifiable 7 power stage hit. He does take the hit. It is successful, so I do have the option to go ahead and activate or Jadep's mastery ability to go ahead and search out a, a drill and place it in a place since I don't have the requisite number of drills out to keep it from happening. It's not too terrible. I have refocus and uh, checkup drill. Checkup drill has entered play. So I can search out my block and put refocus. That will help me to fish out a drill out of my discard pile, should I need to. But if I stop the physical, I'm just going to explode off this level. Hits me with that one energy attack, hits me with the unpreventable energy attack. Though, if you guys are looking at them cards, I, I basically got next to no endurance that whole pile, so I was going to take everything. I get crit, my anger goes down one, and he, James right. he says he knows he's going to take a hit right back, and he does. He takes the same side swipe, seven total power stages. He only had two, so it's going to dig right into his life deck right away. And the other Namekian hunt is now been discarded at Banish for Endurance, and James has an action. Okay, he is going to go ahead and use his mastery first, which will be the wisest thing. Go ahead and pull him out, he'll make use of it. And his anger will go up two levels, one from Lord Slug's level 1 ability, and the other from the mastery itself. 
Okay, he is going to go ahead and bring out uh, ball seven. So you guys know, of course, once he gets ball seven out, he can then in turn pull one from his hand. It's actually a pretty sweet strategy, trying to get all the Dragon Balls out. James is being very thorough in his shuffles because he knows a poorly shuffled deck could cost him the whole game at this point. So about the ramen noodle sleeves are still uh, are in good shape for the most part, but they're yeah, just starting to catch on each other. Okay, so it goes back over to me. And oh, I hit him with a saving kick at the worst time. So I hit him, knock his anger down two levels immediately. And I get to hit him. And I'm, I want to say I'm in E. It's a total of nine power stages. It's a mean, ugly hit. So he took his nine power stages, I crit him and then some. Okay, so I, I mildly thwart his plan by pulling out uh, or capturing ball five of his. That forces, or rather allows me to be able to shuffle in a, wow, a uh, Dragon Ball that's in play. I push set ball seven of his into his life deck, and you see a secondary effect of banishing three cards from a discard pile. I know you're going to block it. So we're just talking about it. when he uh, activates this effect on ball five, he probably should push in ball two because so help me that is a uh, liability just being out here, and unfortunately it's a. Uh, Uh, sorry about that. Some of the folks didn't want to cough right in the mic. Okay, so he does end up doing that. He's going to go ahead and banish his cards first. And he banishes some drills, so I ain't going to get jack of those again. On this game. And he gains three power seeds, which he badly needed. I did. So, do I have anything left? Any package at all? <laughs> oh, make an awful joke about all my drills are out of the discard pile, and I'm saying, is my is my joke missing? Okay, the life card damage bonus doesn't hit yet, so it does zero life card damage because he's uh, below me. So I'll do lower poor James anger two levels, and he can use endurance. Yeah, ball six just keeps trying to come back out, as does that seven. And that one. Okay, he's going to go and activate Dragon Radar, as I am more or less out of actions. I might have a physical attack left to me, so ball seven is going to get placed out into play. This means that James is going to go ahead and get one out of his hand. With uh, Ball 7's uh, once per combat ability. I did use my last one for that. I pulled out 7 and you uh, put it, you said, uh, ooh. I was like, no, push that back in there. Okay, so his deck is uh, awfully, awfully tiny. He's barely even alive. Looking pretty terrible. But DB victory never been closer. Okay, with Ball 7, looks like, uh, what is that, Ball, ball 2? Ball 3. So it doesn't actually activate its capability, sadly.
Okay, so basically we're discussing how close is James to be able to, you know, press the advantage, get the all the Dragon Balls out before it can do anything about it. And he has uh, Dragon Clan capability. So James unfortunately would have drawn all three Dragon Balls next turn, placed them all down one DB victory effortlessly, just because they had happened to gravitate exactly to each other. Oh, deck count seven life cards at this point. That is some rough business. So, as assuming I don't have an attack left in my hand and to press the advantage and try to kill poor James, there's a chance he could simply draw the last Dragon Ball he needs during this next turn. Oh, uh, so we're talking about how James should have held on to Namekian Hunt and made sure to use its effect to be able to pull out a Dragon Ball. He'd have been one away instead of two away. Okay, it looks like I had no attacks to be able to keep pressing that advantage, which is real silly because it must be that doggone refocus waiting for me. Okay, destroy the top two, and he plays, I want to say, ball four. Actually, I still have a good shot at it. He's got everything he needs. He could pull it out, use the effects, and then he could steal it right back and win. You can't hit me in the one turn you get. I could potentially draw into it and so we are more or less in the home stretch, stretch folks. He basically has the uh, all the powers to be able to pull the Dragon Ball out, put it in my hand, uh, steal it right back, and get all seven. Okay, he does end his turn. He passes. I get to put missing the pass super late game. Okay, so I just made sure I did get the mill effect, the distra deck destruction. I place visiting the past in the play. I made an unusually on target observation there about blowing the whole game. Like that. And there it is. He drew it like the first dang card he drew. Ball one enters play, seven Dragon Balls are there, and the game is over. Pondering it for a few days, I probably could have pressed the advantage and killed him, but I thought too late.